hello, this is Mystic Mohawk, and I come to you today with a Divine Feminine read. So Divine Feminine, they say, you were my cup of tea, darling. Yes, you were, baby boy. But now I drink Bel Air. I drink champagne now, darling. So uh, you're not even on my level. I have stepped it up. You know, I used to uh, drink the green tea and the hibiscus tea and the turmeric tea and the Earl Grey's. No, I have stepped my game up. I'm getting my mind right, getting my body tight. And because I have stepped up my, uh, my, my palate, and what I put in it, I have also stepped up my game for my caliber of men for whom I will date. I only date high caliber men from now on. No scrubs, no dick dealers. All right, says Divine Feminine. So Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the energy of those that uh, Divine Feminine has replaced? Okay, so those energies of those that divine replace, you know, that cup of tea, that cup of tea is in a six of wands energy in reverse. And when one is in a six of wands energy, excuse me, excuse me, when one is in a six of wands energies, they have fallen from grace. You know, the social status that they may have had in the past, they don't have it anymore. They are in the energy where they have been knocked off balance. And now they are getting various sneak attacks being done on them. Okay? What is the other energies of this person? That divine masculine left that tea for that Bel Air. Yes, that person is in a Ten of Swords energy. And when one is in the Ten of Swords energy, they are in the energy that every time they combat one problem, another one just come in, in existence and they will not go away. Challenges are now their best friend. And they can't seem to get over these challenges. What is the other energies of these people? Holy Spirit. These people are in a page of cups energy. And when one is in a page of cups energy, they are immature. They may be unemotional. They may be uncommitted. This may be a person that live in deceptive childlike behaviors. And this person may be unemotional and they may not be grounded. Okay. So let's find out why Divine Feminine is in the energy saying, damn, I glowed up, girl. I don't even drink the same thing. I don't even put the same things in my body since I have glowed up. Child, yes, we would like to know what is the energies of how do these people see Divine Feminine? And what is the energies that she is saying now that, oh, no, darling, I am not in that same energy. I have grown up. I don't deal with men of your caliber, divine masculine. I only deal with high value men. Yes, I don't deal with your kind. We don't do the dick dealers. We don't do the liars. We don't do the betrayers. Them two wanted to go out, but I'm going to keep on shuffling my cards. And they feel like that, so that's turned over. All right. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, we come to you today. We come to you in the energies of knowing. We would like to know why is Divine Feminine this change that she's saying from um, drinking tea to Bel Air? She would. We would like to know what is what is she saying when she says these things that she is now glowed up and the things that she used to deal with she won't deal with anymore. Holy Spirit.
of the Spirit, Holy Angels. We come to you for the signs, the synchronicities, and the messages that you want us to have today. Okay, so the first two cards that wanted to come out is, first card that came out is Divine Feminine is saying the reason why she have a high caliber of man, she said because Divine Masculine, she would never deal with a masculine that she find out is closet sneaky. This first card that comes out is closet sneaky. So Divine Feminine is saying she knows some secrets about Divine Masculine. Therefore, when she starts to date a new man, she does her... I, her investigative report, she's be knee high private eye all up in their business because she's saying I would never get into another situation where I'm dealing with a man that's closet sneaky. You won't catch me going out like Willie Lump Lump. I won't go out like that again, says Divine Feminine. And again, Divine Feminine is still living that life where she's still over there unbothered. She's still living that life where she's saying, I know I am a divine feminine. I know my, I know my worth. This is why I am in the energy where I'm saying, I, is nothing wrong. You were my cup of tea. But now that I know that I'm more than a cup of tea, I don't even want no damn tea. Give me champagne in my cup. She said, because Divine Masculine, you put me through a lot of, you put me through a situation where I thought something was wrong with me. I thought I had mental health concerns because I was in an energy where I was hooked on you. I loved you and I wanted to be with you, but you was hooked on me. I was hooked on you and you was hooked on everybody else. Therefore, I got up in my head and I thought I had mental health concerns of the things that you was doing to me, Divine Masculine. This is why I, I, I now date a high caliber of man and knows what I want. What else is you saying, Divine Masculine? She's saying now you're in the energy where you're Divine Masculine. You want a woman like me. You want to mirror my energy. You keep comparing me to a comic. You would never compare me to a comic because I am a divine feminine. And this is why you would never get a woman of my caliber unless she is a divine feminine. This is why you stay in an energy divine masculine where the police is always called because you and the comic are always arguing what kind of woman I am. What kind of glow up I'm currently doing that you're not. I would like for you, Divine Masculine, to please get out my energy. I thought I made it clear that I have moved on. Next, thank you, says Divine Feminine. I know my wealth now. I know my worth now. And my worth is in you. I know that you are a backstabbing betrayer, says Divine Feminine. This next card that comes out, don't trust nothing about them. This is the energy that Divine Masculine is in with Divine Feminine is in when it comes to Divine Masculine. She is saying, I don't trust your ass as far as I can throw you. This is why I don't want to be bothered with you and your block. This next card that comes out is blocked, ignored, ghosted. And this is why you're in the energy where you feel like you want to come over there and you want to steal my energy because karma is, that karma bus has pulled up on your ass. It's pulled up to your bumper, baby. Yes. Now you're in the energy divine masculine where you're being ghosted. This next card that's being ghosted. Now you're in the energy where you're with a female that has no stability. This is why you want to come back over here in my energy divine masculine. I already got your number. I got your number. And baby boy, who cares if you was crying? 
Who cares if you was that energy? Remember, you put me in that energy where you was my bae. You was telling me you was my bae, but you was everybody else bae. This crying, man, crying call. And then bae comes in reverse. Divine Feminine is saying, remember you lied to me and told me you was my bae. And as soon as you left out that door, you was everybody bae. Remember you told me you lied to me and you had your mask on. You showed me your representative. This next call is mask. Not what they say they are. They post or what they post to be. They are full of deception and lies. This is how you came to me untruthful, out the gate, divine masculine. And now that it's being done to you, you want to play victim. You want someone's sympathy. You want someone to feel some type of way for you. But you forgot Divine Masculine. These were the attributes that you decided to pick because you picked the common. Now you in the energy where you can't get away from this simple bitch and she always in the energy where she busts your windows out your car. Now you're in the energy where she's following you and tracking you. Now you looking like the big dummy because the comic is over there getting money from her sugar daddy, baby. She cares nothing about you. Your money ain't correct, Divine Masculine. Your money ain't correct, Divine Masculine. So everything that you're doing to me is being done to you. You and the comic are mirroring each other's energy. This next card that come out is mirroring. So this is what the comic and divine masculine is now doing. They are now mirroring each other's energy. That energy that he had with you when he was cheating on you and ghosting you and doing all those things to you. Now it's being done to them. You know the old creeping, creeping. The sneaking too. The humping, jumping. Playing people for a mess around. The comics messing around. The comic's messing around. The comic is doing a mess around. See, all of those energies that he gave to you, baby girl, they all been done to you. Everything that's been done to you, baby, because you are protected. This next card that is spirit, guys. This is your angels. This is your ancestors and your loved ones that passed away that protected you from this crap that the mind masculine put you through, baby girl. Yes, that's what it was. A bunch of mind fuckery and plum tum foolery. Yes. And now that this person hates, wants you back. Yes, this next call is the want you back call. This person wants you back, babe. And because you don't want to be in their energy and you over there dating others, they want to send hate messages to you, divine feminine. Because you are ignoring this person and paying them no mind. But their current relationship, they currently get into arguments about you. Okay? Because now, baby girl, Divine Masculine is finding out that the comic is a manipulator. He's finding out that the comic is a spiritual hater. He's finding out that the comic is unapologetic, sorry, not sorry, unremorseful for her third party, for her options, for her ghosting, because what? She has immature behaviors and cares about no one but herself. This is the immature call. Meanwhile, Divine Feminine is over there saying, yes, I do sometimes think about you, Divine Masculine. But I'm putting me first. I'm doing divine, ma divine feminine. I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. Comic wanna put spells on me. But you can't do nothing to a queen. I got my ancestors protecting me. I won't deny it. I'm a straight rider. Comic wanna put spells on me. But I got my spirit guys protecting me. And they can't do nothing to a queen. This is why she mad, baby. Because she see you over there living that life. Not worrying about no divine masculine. She see you over there relaxing, rejuvenating yourself. Recharging your energy. Doing you winning, baby girl. 
and this this person sees you doing good. The next car is lurking. They see you looking good. This next car is behind the scenes. They lurking. And I'm going to put this car up front to see their eyes. Look at the hate in their eyes because you are winning. They see you winning behind the scenes. They see you glowing up. I said, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait. We got comments over here out here spreading that narcissistic. Hey. You better walk. You better get the fuck on. Hey. Run your ass away. Yeah. My ancestors is running away that hate. My ancestors is running away that magic. And I'm sending back all hate that was meant for me. Send it back. Run away. Avoiding it. Because I'm better than that. I know you was trying to steal my energy calming. Being a creativity muncher. And a doppelganger copycat bitch. But you forgot. My ancestors love me. My ancestors protected me from your shit, your creativity mantra. I know you thirsty. You want everything that I got, but you can't have it because you a divine fifth, divine. You are a comic being, and I'm a divine fe feminine. All of my gifts were given to me from my divine. Hmm. And what you are, you ain't nothing but a goddamn drama starter. This is what you live for. And this is what you receive your comment for. You live to be a sneaky bitch. This next call is drama starter and sneaky bitch. Spying, creeping, lurking, stalking. Yes, sneaky bitch. This is what you live for to be a sneaky ass hoe. Because you know that your man don't want you. Because you a nasty bitch. You don't take care of home. Next card that comes out is biohazard home. So this one don't clean her house. She probably don't clean herself. She don't do home maintenance. Don't clean up. Don't wash dishes. You know, one of them nasty trifling females that wear nice clothes but don't clean up her damn house and don't clean her body. Yes, this next card come out is biohazard home. So this one does not clean up her house and does not have home skills. And this is why the masculine don't want to be bothered with her because their relationship is currently a sinking ship. Yes. Intermittent doom disaster in progress. Sinking ship. This is what that relationship is like that. Because we have a whole lot of STDs. This next call is being tested for STDs, STIs. Sex isn't wrong, but you gotta be right. And if you have sex, you better wrap it up tight. Listen to me, cause Mohawk ain't joking. Don't wrap it up and your ass will be smoking. Care about yourself a little bit more, people. Strap it up. And the ship is sinking cause everybody wanna be meshing with everybody. And everybody want to be having sex with everybody just meshing all the nastiness with the Petri dish panties and the dick dealing. Yes, both of them, that will be the comic and divine masculine, is showing fake love straight up to both of them's face. This next card that come out is fake love straight up to your face. Yes, girl, both of them are showing fake love with both of each, both, both with one another. They playing games with one another. Both of them is being fake. Mm. What else is going on in the comic community? We want to be nosy today, and I don't know why these is turned over. What is that about? What is that about? We got all of these turned over. What is that about? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. We, girl, that is turned over too. What the hell is really the deal, Pip? Excuse my mouth. 
what is really the deal people holy spirit holy angels yes what is the deal going over there going on over there in comic town you know what i'm saying why divine feminine is saying baby boy you is getting everything you want boo you was my cup of tea but now baby i drink that leg i don't want that problem i don't want that headache I have graduated to the good stuff. And if you is not a male with value, which you not divine masculine, we gonna leave you alone. And that's what we did. Mm -hmm. So, why is, what is the issues going on over there in the comic community now that divine masculine has found out he has picked the wrong female? Yes. What is going on over there in the comic community? Yes, girl. So, what's going on over there in the comic community, girl? The comic can't keep herself to herself, baby girl. It is all kinds of third parties. So, they going over there ping-ponging the nastiness. You know, so we got divine masculine over there dick dealing and dropping it all, falling everybody draws, pump it dump. Pump it down. Drop it all in your drawers and pump it down. Then we have the comic over here being um a, a, a specimen for NIH with her Petri dish ponties. I'm trying to say it like Earth the Kid said. Petri dish ponties. I know I can't say it like Earth Kid said, but anyway. Petri dish panties. Yes. Everybody over there is messing the nastiness over there together. So we have this card over here. Third parties, entanglements, all those things. Yes. This card represents everybody over there is meshing the nastiness and the body fluids amongst each other. And these entanglements and third parties. And when these entanglements and third parties are being said about and brought to the forefront, we have the altercations. This next card that comes out is somebody getting bankrupt upside their head. And when the altercations come, and then we have the shock tongue, the insults, and the hurtful words. This is what we have going on in the comic community. Because the comic is over there living, hurt like bi -patty, bipolar baddie. Yes, she go from one extreme to the other, and Divine Masculine is fed up with that shit. He fed up with the bipolar tendencies from the comic. The altercations and the fussing and the fighting. And the third parties. Yes, it's a lot going on over there. And now, you know, oh boy, he wants to blame everything on this damn lustful, tantric, sex magic. You know, this one had to come out for Divine Masculine. This is what he blamed on everything. Goddamn sex magic. Sex magic. This one came out, yes. And Divine Masculine is saying he tired of all this competition with this comic and all the rest of her men and all the rest of these things that's going on. And Divine Masculine is in a energy where he is trying to keep his distance from this comic. And oh, baby boo. He wants to come over there and give you an offer, girl. Mm. He see you over there shining. He see you over there growing up. He see you over there doing the thing thing and the chicken wine wine with the mumbo sauce and all those thing things. He see you doing the mumbo sauce on your chicken, girl. Yes, girl. He wants to come and give you an offer, girl. He wants some of that mumbo sauce that you put on your chicken. Ow, girl. Yes. Because he know that he got a party, girl, that always want to party with Jim. Lil Ray Ray and them, Lil Roy, all oh, them girl, she love to be the party starter. You know, Lil Ray Ray, that's my brother, girl. You know, that's my play brother. Oh, Roy, oh, girl, you know him that be over there in 58 over there. Yeah, that one. Oh, girl, that's my cousin. Girl, your ass got all this damn family. So, Divine Masculine is really finding out that this girl is a liar and a cheater. A cheater by the feeder. Yes. He finding out all them things about his girl. Girl, she a party girl. Mm. And he finding out, girl, she did this thing on purpose. Got Divine Feminine 
Whoosh your ass on up out the way. The next call is, I was jealous of your relationship, so I broke it up. So some kind of way, Divine Masculine been around dirt digging, girl, and found out that the comment did the, the magic and the breaking of y'all relationship on purpose. And now he wants to be fake all up in his feelings, having anger management because he finding out about these secrets about the comment. No, boo boo, you should have did your research beforehand. Now you have to deal with a peanut butter motherfucker. Nothing we be. Every time I see that hoe, she all in divine feminine shit. On divine feminine baby daddy trying to get what she get. That bitch need to stay up out that girl bed name. And mind her business. That's a peanut butter motherfucker. Not that we bitch. Every time I see that hoe, she all in that girl she. On her baby daddy trying to get what she get. Need to stay up out of minds and get some business. That's what I need to tell that girl. That girl need to mind her damn business. Said divine feminine. The mind feminine saying, girl, I ain't worried about you and your business, girl. I'm too many over there hustling. Hustling, hustling, hustling. Every damn hustling. Every damn hustling. Yes, girl, I'm over here strong. Hustling. This next thought is hustle. Making money. Making it rain. Focus on the money. Focus on getting it. This is why, girl, I don't drink tea no more. I am in the belly energy where I am sipping on the champagne all right. Hold on, girl, and I'm not even going to say that to you, but I'm going to say it one more time. I'm over here hustling. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Tell them haters I said, all right, says Divine Family. Baby girl, I am over here getting my abundance. I am over here getting them dollars. Me and Benjamin Franco stay at the bank of spending cash like money everywhere that I go. Me and my man, we stuck it up to the ceiling. Every day I'm alive, I make a killing. That's where I get it. Dinero, dinero, dinero. Dinero, dinero, dinero. Eh. They are broke. It's a fishing. They got no dough. No pizza to call it. They are broke. They are broke. Dinero, dinero, dinero. Eh. Dinero, dinero, dinero. Eh. They are broke. It's a fishing. They got no dough. No pizza to call it. They are broke. They are broke. Oh, dinero, dinero, dinero. Yeah, that's what Pet Pet said. They broke. Divine feminine. Baby girl. And we got a little pepper and poo 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 to come over here to clarify. Abundance. Divine feminine. The sharing angel is with you. May this bring you prosperity and abundance, baby. Dinero, dinero, dinero. Eh. I don't need you to come back, Pepper. Guys, this is why they are mad and stay in an immature energy, baby girl. Because they immaturely cannot take the fact that you are winning. They immaturely can't take the fact that they fucked you over and they had poor communication with you and was a dick dealer. And they can't take the fact that you pick, kick, they wonky ass to the curb and don't want to deal with them, baby. <sighs> However, they still think about you. They still got you on the brain. This next card is love on the brain, dreaming, fantasizing, daydream, nostalgic about you. Well, after you kick their ass to the curb, yes, baby. Because this lover that they have over there, this comic that they deal with, often shows them fake love straight up to their face. And Divine Masculine is in an energy where he's just tired of this fake love. And he's tired of this drama, baby girl. Because the next card that comes out is 
fake love straight up to your face and tired of drama. Yes, baby. He's in that energy. He's tired of drama, baby. However, he's still in that energy where he's still watching you, baby girl. He's still watching you be in the energy where you ain't, you was his cup of tea. Hmm, but now you drinking bad lead. You got little boo-boo over there watching you. He doing good, huh? What about Randy over there, hmm? He over there doing, hmm, excellent day. And this one over here, he doing very well, very well, very well. Doing real better than Divine Masculine. And he has came to the conclusion where it is game over, baby. He having insecurities because he always thought that you would come back. He never thought that you would put him in the energy where you said, give me six feet. However, it's like that now. Now you're the one talking big shit. Get your ass away from me. I got heels bigger than your dick, nigga. Fuck you, man. You will never put me in the energy where I'm in a love triangle. Now I'm talking my shit, says Divine Feminine. You will never put me in the energy where you fucking around. Put me in the energy with a comic bitch that's below me. Put me in the energy with these bras that has low IQs and they ain't on my level. Put me in the energy where your old per impersonator bitch want to steal my energy because she want to be me. You will never put me in the energy where you creeping on me. You will never put me in the energy where you talking your shit, giving me your unwanted opinions because your ass want to cheat and I find out about it. You will never give, put me in the energy where you showing me fake smiles being up in my face. Showing me fake love and that's the inside scoop. And I don't do it too much, Divine Masculine, but since you don't hear me, I can be a gutter mouth bitch and read you for life. But I just choose not to fuck with you because I know you or your broad ain't on my level. That's why I ran away from you. I ran away from your drama. Now you wants to send me unknown messages and block your number. That will be a hell no. I'm over here healing. That will be a hell no. You will never put me in the energy where I'm crying over your dusty dick ass. You will never put me in the energy where your horse is calling me, threatening me, wanting to fight me. You will never put me in the energy where your horse is looking me up on my social media all up in my DM. This why I kicked your ass to the curb. Now you in the energy where you know I'm a sweetheart. You in the energy where you know I know my worth and I ain't going to put up with your shit. But this was the choice that you made. You fit, you picked a physical abusing bitch. Because you thought she was better than me. It was all a dream. And now your dream is coming to reality that you got a fucking mattress made. Your dream is coming to reality that she sell her ass. Your dream is coming to reality that you made a bad choice. And now you reflecting on because what? Divine Feminine is over here living her best life. Divine Feminine is uninterested in your bullshit. And Divine Feminine is saying game over. I told your ass to give me six feet. And I'm going to say, if you like my vibe, like, share, and subscribe. That's why Divine Feminine is saying, you were my cup of tea. But now I drink Bel Air. I drink the champagne. I want the finer things in life. And that ain't you.